This is ABC 15 News. Ladies, we have to take care of ourselves, right? And take our health into our own hands. So what are the three exams that you should never miss as a woman? And also, what are the latest advancements in technology in the medical field that we should know about? That's right. So this morning, we want to talk to the experts. We're going to bring in board-certified OBGYN, Dr. Greg Marchand. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, we appreciate it. He holds a Guinness World Record for yes. a very unique category. We're going to talk <laughs> about that in just a second. But first, we want to talk about those three tests that no woman should ever skip. What are they? Absolutely. Well, starting off, the pap smear is really the most critical. That's okay. our screening for cervical cancer. Should be started at age 21 and preferably continued on until age 65. Every three to five years longer if they're abnormal. Okay, so okay. we all know that one. That one's mm -hmm. pretty obvious. Two one. more. Yep. So mammograms should be started around age 40. Uh, approximately one in every 12 women uh, will develop a breast cancer in their lifetime. So that's a crucial one to, to yeah. make sure you show up for. Unbelievable statistic, too, when you mm -hmm. hear, you know, all of that. Okay, so that's two down. One more. Yep. So colonoscopies, people don't like to think about, but that starts mm -hmm. at its recommended ages 45 to 50 to start with your first one. And those should be continued every 10 years until age 75. And with regular colonoscopies, the decrease in colon cancer could be as high as 83% from some studies. And I have to ask you, is it our should your OBGYN be the one telling you and taking note of how old you are on your birthday or do you need to be a little more proactive as a patient and yeah. say hey you know what I'm just turning 40 or I'm 42 and I haven't had any of these things yet really or you know haven't had a mammogram right. yet. Absolutely I'm sure your doctor will be on top of it but it's absolutely wonderful to be proactive about your own health and ask for these things. Okay so we do have to talk about this uh, kind of interesting here but an important study came out talking about the difference in women getting their tubes tied and then taking them out all together and since you are you know no OBGYN, you're the expert in this one here. I mean, what are the differences here uh, between doing those kinds of things uh, if somebody is considering that? Absolutely. Uh, yes, so very recently a, a committee opinion came out. Uh, this really changed the way we practice gynecology. And it's really definitively stating that if it possible, it's better to remove the fallopian tubes and just tie them. And for the first time, this is a weapon against ovarian cancer because this actually significantly decreases a woman's lifetime risk of ovarian cancer. Okay. You have some props on the table here, so yeah. walk us through what we're, look, what we're looking at. Yeah. What, what, what why are they here? Well, uh, you know, a while back, I was uh, fortunate enough to receive a Guinness World Record for receiving the, for uh, removing the largest uterus laparoscopically. Uh, so typically, an incision uh, for surgery such as hysterectomy is made with a scalpel. Uh, you know, about a six-inch incision is common. Mm -hmm. But using laparoscopic okay. means, we're able to use laparoscopic instruments such as this trocar uh, and uh, make small incisions that are really only about as big as the tip of a pencil. What a different! I mean, wow, look yeah. at that measurement versus that, and I mean yeah. the recovery time alone. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yep. much quicker. Okay, so is this? So this is a model of the uh, the seven pound uterus that we removed. Ah. Uh, okay. Another surgeon and I removed this laparoscopically using just small holes. And then uh, for comparison, of course, we've got this small 75 gram, kind of a typical average size uterus. Whoa. I feel okay. like this is looking at those small ships that show up in the bottle. You know, oh, like yeah. how did you get That's that insane. and that up there? Wow. Okay, wow. That well, is a unique world cool. record, Guinness <laughs> record. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Guys, make sure you are staying on top of your health. We are so happy that you came here and gave us those health tips. Here's to a healthy 2017, right? That's right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.